Hello everyone, it's Roadman, and welcome back to Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. Last time, we started to hip out on Temple by getting through two of its, well, more or less, puzzles? Yeah, puzzles. And now this time, we're going to continue on forward through the left snout. Now, this is going to either be very annoying or, oh no, this is going to be very annoying. Okay, so what it's, it's asking us to do is to not do that. Okay. Basically, we have to follow this. Okay. Now we have to do this. Nope! Blast it! And that's what the clay dolls are for. I'll meet you back over there. Okay, so something I keep forgetting about is that you can actually use the D-pad to actually tra travel through this. So we're just going to do this and just analyze this tile formation. And obviously it wants us to do this. And then we can go through. So we just have to analyze what we have to do. It might try to do a little trickery on us. Which hopefully we don't fall for. Hopefully we don't fall for. Oh ah, no! Bust it! Meet you up there. Okay, so back again. Now like I said, you can use the D-pad to do a little more precise. Which we are going to be doing here. Okay, good. I actually rushed that a little bit. And now I can go back to the stylus because it actually feels a lot better to use that than this. We're grinding a Pokemon with Tunnel, aren't we? Okay, let's see here. What do you want me to do here? Right now, the only path for us to take is up here. That'll take us back. That'll take us down there. So we want to take this one. Um, that will take us up. That'll take us down, which I don't want to do that way. So let's see what's over here. What does Gabite do? Uh, Gabite, you chase. Actually, I think this might actually be our first Dragon-type encounter. Even though this is ground. Okay, you're less annoying than the Clay Doll. That's... You're less annoying than the Clay Doll. That's why I'm using a Magneton right now. Uh, no, for you're not, bud. Okay. I'm just going to do this and power it up to the next level. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, we should be close this time. Yeah, you can power it up to twice. We can do that now. It does make those tougher Pokemon a little more easier. Gabite. It spits hunks of dirt to attack. It also slashes with powerful claws. Part of the dragon group. Pokey assist dragon. Field move cut three. We don't need cut three. That's the problem. Okay, and it looks like we gotta go all the way back. Yep. So, let's... See here. If up led us that way, that means we need to go this way. Obviously, there's sand here. There's a bonnet up there. And that leads us back that way. So, let's see what this way leads us to. If we precision carefully... We're now up here. But does not take us there. Okay. Oh, last bit. Okay, good. Down does not do anything for us. So let me just look at this carefully. 
Oh! We need to somehow get to the other side of that, which we can easily do by getting blindsided by Banette. No thanks, Banette. But also, I do love the fact that we, I don't have any of my Pokemon with me at the moment. So we want to go through this way. Wait, then what's up there? I'm not going to get sidetracked. Colossum. I am getting sidetracked! So, to answer my question, what is up? Not now, Gabite. I already had to deal with one of you. I don't not deal with an R1. So, obviously, there's going to be something in this cave for us. That's an Espeon. That is not something we need. So that phase of me not getting sidetracked, I just got sidetracked. Uh, we need something with... No, you're not going to have it. Then who's going to have it? Let's go up here. Oh. Okay. I know what we have to do now. I know what we have to do now. Okay, basically I did have the right idea, I just took the wrong cave. This is the cave I need. And of course, it does not lead me back to anywhere. Oh, hi Tyranitar! I'm surprised you did not tackle me. What do you do that's going to annoy me? That's not as annoying as I thought it would be. What about your level 2 move? Yeah, I'll just charge. And just get more of a bonus off of Okay, what does your level 3 move do? A mixture of both and dark. Okay, I'm just going to charge up since... Okay. There we go, and let's just get... And... Come on! There we go! To be honest, the Hyper Beam was the only threatening thing. Tyranitar! It is vicious Pokemon. It is a vicious Pokemon that triggers Rock Falls and shoots beams from its mouth. It is part of the Rock Group. Pokey Assist, Dark. Field Move, Crush 4. And I'll meet you right back with that boulder. One of the least worrying things I had to deal with, but I do see the blossoms and I do see this rock. I'm gonna want these blossoms. They're gonna be an easy capture for me, so that's another one of the reasons why I want a blossom. Prove me wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, they're going to be an easy capture for me to do. They're part of the grass group. Blossom. While protecting itself with leaves, it also scatters them to attack. It's part of the grass group. Pokey assist, grass. Field move, cut three. Now, question is this. Do I have enough? I have enough for one more. So, let's get this last Blossom. And captured. So we do have Blossoms, Gabites, three Magnetons for healing, a Piplup, okay I thought I had enough Pokemon but never mind we're not using Blossom. Tyranitar Crush. 
That is more or less blasting the stupid rock, but okay. And down the hole we go. Oh, please tell me that was the right hole to go down to. Okay, so we can use the drift limb to go back up, or... Yeah, it does provide us, like, another Blossom to use, another Magneton if we need it. So if you need a heal, I would recommend using one of your Magnetons. And a Drift Bloom, which actually has a Ghost typing to it. And that Sableye is also a nice and tempting. Drift Bloom also has... Drift Bloom has the easier Ghost typing to work with, so I'm gonna get that. So, let's just capture Drift Bloom. And go forward. So, let's see what it has in store for us. Voicemail, voicemail! This is Rizumi. I'm getting an in indication there's a tough Pokemon ahead. Are you prepared for it? Yes, I am prepared for it. And... There's the yellow gem. Now, where in the world is Keith? Okay. We got Cresselia here. So, Cresselia. Kind of an interesting Pokemon to have as a guardian. But right now, so far, it's, it looks like it's going to be an easy walk here. Oh, this. Okay. You know what? I see your little magical psychic orb and raise you some bubbles. Fear my bubbles! Fear them! I'm gonna beat the Chem Guardian with bubbles if I have to! Okay, that is an attack without warning, so that's good to know. Uh, okay. Oh, that is very interesting. Having a Psychic Orb on the side. Okay, so... We gotta be careful with the sides. And now we... <laughs> that... Okay, what can I do here? Draw loops to summon ghosts. Okay... To be honest, I'd rather do that than try to loop through that, so... Yeah, wait, how much damage are these ghosts doing? Yeah, I saw that. Okay, that is awesome. Um, what does dragons do? Touch and hold, bring down- oh, right! Those bring meteors down. I'm gonna save that for something else, and I'm gonna save that for something else. I don't think I'm at the point where I need to worry about that. Ouch! Okay, should have been a little more careful. Okay, so... Now I can just charge up and... There we go! That takes care of Cresselia! The po problem is, I don't know how many of those orbs that Cresselia can do on the side. Cresselia! It lets loose strange orbs. It attacks by spitting orbs of psychic power. Part of the psychic group. Focus is psychic. Have fun. It is not going to be used outside the field. But, ooh, that is a lot of experience to almost a level up. The Chrysilla decided to entrust Darien with the yellow gem.
so... Priscilla just flies away. We obtained the yellow gem with no problems. Team Dimso was actually nowhere to be found here. Mission clear. But where is Keith? There's that right there, so... Oh, actually, usually the portal's usually outside, inside the gem cavern, isn't it? Sounds of a approaching helicopter. How do you get a helicopter inside a temple? Explain that game! Oi, Darian! Nice work, you get the yellow gem. Very good going. Although, very dumb it was for you, following silly vice mail all along way out here, to this big Haruba desert. I'm intimidating, imitating Keith, good, yes? Mimic him good like he was me, right? But too bad for you, Team Dim Sun, I am belonging to. But more, 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 I am one of Boss's favorites, the Sinus Trio! My name is Heath. Not Keith! Heath! How do you like that? So far you're annoying me. First, I think to myself, get the yellow gem myself, I will. But there be a Pokemon Cresselia being guardian to that rock. Then all along comes a ranger, kind of happy, kind of go lucky. Surprise, surprise, he tried to capture that Cresselia. I think to myself, good chance for me. He capturing Pokemon, I getting rock. But that ranger keep, he'd no good. Failure capturing Cresselia. Irritating to see it make me. But then, flash, I have inspiration come to me. Rumors, I am hearing, of a very skillful ranger named Darien. I think to myself, real in Darien I will. Do with Fredo Keith act as bait. So, I send you fake vice mail. Ha 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 ha! So now you understand the yellow gem you give me now. Of course, I am fair. I trade you something for rock. I give you your friend. Quite important, and I take yellow gem. Fair deal? Darian, don't do it. Don't give it to him. Silly Keith. Maybe brave, but smart. Not so much. Yellow gem for blue face Keith. You take trade, yes? Um, I'm gonna take your little caveman sounding voice and say no. Oh, you not care about Keith? Not very good friend. I ask again. Yellow gem for blue face Keith? You make trade, yes? Yeah, it's one of those trades where you have to say yes. Ah, very well. Smart as you're deciding. Okay, you take Keith back. You don't drop him. Catch! I give you bonus too. Generous of me, yes. Catch! That is a Magneton. Wait, no, not a Magneton, but a Magnezo. Darian! And yep! Here's our next boss Pokemon! Magnazone! Okay, Heaps Magnazone, let's see what you do. You already annoyed me. Okay, can we drop. Ouch! I don't have enough bubbles. Okay, this is why I saved Dragon Gabite for. How did I not? Okay, I need to. This. Okay, please hit. 
Oh my... I haven't drawn any circles on it yet! Okay, got that out of the way. This is a smart mega zone! Would you stay in one location, please? Oh my goodness, the dragon typing sucks! The problem is we haven't gotten to the worst of it yet, so... Now that we got... Okay, now you're going to do some electricity attack. Like that, for example. Wait, you do what? Okay, so... Maybe I can... Try to figure out a way to get past that move without getting hurt. Okay. The electric orbs, I don't really mind. And yes, bubble! I want the bubbles! Give me bubbles so I can shoot them at you. They're not as good as shield on, but they are better than that stupid meteor attack. That's right, bubbles are better than meteors. I don't care if it's only doing you 53 points of damage every time. It is actually doing at least better job than what those... Ooh, I gotta be careful with that one. Luckily, it's not done any new moves, but to my knowledge, it also hasn't shown anything about, like, a level 3 move of any sort. Okay, so we're gonna use... Our little blossom as our little. Okay, to be honest, I got a little lucky there. Okay. Okay, we almost got him. There we go! So, remember, bubbles are better than meteors. Magnazone. It generates magnetism from its body. It protects itself with an electric barrier. Part of the electric group. Pokey assist electric. And surprisingly, its field move is Electrify 3, not Recharge. And now we get a level up. Thank you. Bye, Magnazone. Darian! Sorry. No, I'm not feeling down on myself. Even if I am feeling down, I get back up again right away. Come on, you know me, I'm Keith. I'm always positive and upbeat, right? I'm okay, or at least I will be okay. I'm a little embarrassed, so I'll go back to the Union by myself. But I'm really, I'm okay. Weasel! Sorry, pal. I put you through a lot of worry. Darian, I can't say this properly, but thanks for saving me. I'll make up for it. I promise. So that does complete the mission. But the mission was already completed. It's just Heath got in the way. But we can exit out of the Hippowdon Temple. And like I said, the Hippowdon does come back with the Sandstorm. But we're basically reporting back to the Ranger Union. So next time, let me just check something. Uh, yep. Next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, we'll be catching up with some more quests. 